Okay, we're going to come back to order. Okay, so after consulting with my head table, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask if the maker of the parliamentary inquiry would be willing to withdraw it so that uh, I don't need to rule on it right this moment and then hopefully what will happen is that we will refer it to committee and uh, the whether or not the proposed amendment to the text will affect the ratification stage would be part of the charge of that committee. And so what returns to us, um, hopefully will be more easier, more easier, will be easier to rule on. Um, I'm gonna rec recognize Perry at the podium microphone. You are also free to tell me no. Uh, Perry and Marie Sheehan, um, I don't see why the committee would be more helpful than, than like pulling the people in the room. Um, I don't see a benefit to deferring this until tomorrow, so I don't think I want to withdraw it. Okay. Uh, so, seeing that, we're still on the issue of the parliamentary inquiry. Um, so, as I said, I am going to uh, read the, uh, I'm going to ask for a poll of the room. Um, about whether or not this is a greater or lesser change. I would like to appeal the wrong of the chair on the precedence of the motions. I don't believe I made a ruling on that. Did I? I, I mean, okay, yes. Okay, I'm going to recognize you at the at the blue microphone. Martin Pine, he, him. I, I. I, I recognize him. I appeal the ruling of the chair that the parliamentary inquiry takes precedence over the motion to refer. Um, the okay. Uh, so uh, uh, no. So a motion to appeal the ruling of the chair has been made. Um, because we did not run through our slide deck at the beginning, I'm going to ask the parliamentarian to uh, briefly go back to the slide about uh, appealing the ruling of the chair to make sure that everyone, <laughs> including the chair, but everyone is 100% clear on what's about to happen. Because we do have new people in the room and we're starting to get a little bit tangled and I wanna make sure that everyone is clear on what's happening. Okay, so uh, the, yeah. So the ruling of the chair has been appealed, so I uh, am going to state my reason for making my ruling, uh, and then the maker of the appeal will get to uh, state uh, their reason, uh, and then we can have debate, um, and uh, after debate is closed, the form of the question will be to sustain the ruling of the chair or to not. Um, so I... Uh, one moment. Okay, <laughs> my apologies. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm listening to all of the experts up here. Uh, so I essentially, I did not do it well, but essentially what I did is I ruled the motion to refer to committee out of order because we were dealing with the pending issue of the parliamentary inquiry. inquiry. Um, and the motion to refer was to refer the amendment to committee, not to refer the parliamentary inquiry to committee, which I don't believe can be done anyways. Uh, and that is why I essentially, although I will, I will admit I did not do it well, essentially what I did is rule the motion to refer out of order because the parliamentary inquiry uh, had precedence and was on the floor. Um, would you like to come up to the podium? Okay. Martin Pine, he, him. 
Uh, Robert Rules of Order, page 169, the subsidiary motion to commit or refer takes precedence over a debatable appeal or a point of order which has been referred to the chair to the judgment of the assembly if the appeal or question of order does not adhere to the main motion or if no other motions except those named in the preceding sentence are pending or involved in the appeal. Since the point of order was well, since the question of order was related to to the previous the motion to come in. Yeah, the emotions that were in the preceding sentence. Well, I've uh, I will actually take the member's point. Um, thank you for being able to find the proper reference faster than we were up at the top. <laughs> I've been out R O N R. So, uh, unless there are any ob any objections, uh, the chair is going to uh, rule that the ruling of the chair is not sustained. <laughs> I will take the laughter to mean that there are no objections, uh, and so the uh, motion to refer is in order. Um, and is the item before us. Um, I believe there was a second to it? There was. Okay, it was a long time ago. <laughs> One moment. Okay. We are out of time. Uh, shocking that took more than six minutes. Uh, but before we can vote on the motion to refer, we need to make sure we are clear on the charge uh, of the committee. Uh, so. Kate, as the maker of the motion, can I recognize you at the podium to just make sure we're clear on what we are charging the committee with? And who its members are. My name is Kate Secor. I use she, her pronouns. Uh, the wording on this is kind of torturous, so I would like it to go to committee to hammer out the wording, make sure it actually does what the maker of the amendment is attempting to have it do, and also to give the top table staff time to put it on um, a slide or to give the maker of the amendment time to go get it printed so we can all actually look at it instead of trying to figure out what's going on based on having it read to us. Okay, uh, and who is going to be on this committee? Do you, is that part of your motion to refer? Uh, I suggest including both Cliff Dunn and Dave McCarty on the committee and anyone else who wishes to volunteer. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Okay, we have a parliamentary inquiry. Um, I'll recognize you um, up at the podium. Or if you need a roving mic. Winton Matthews, he, him. I thought part of the charge was also to, for the committee to report back whether or not they think it's a lesser or a greater change. Uh, yes, thank you. I was going to add that to the charge of the committee, yes. Uh, so the item before us is to refer um, item C3, its amendment, um, and the question of whether or not that amendment constitutes a greater or lesser change to a committee uh, to be composed of uh, Cliff Dunn, Dave McCarty, and anyone else they choose to uh, have on that committee. Um, are we all clear on what we are voting on? Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you. All those in favor, please raise the hand. Thank you. All those against? And the item is referred to committee to report tomorrow. Okay. We are going to take a brief... Uh, Oh, right, MPC. Or do you need to swap out the... Okay. Uh, totally forgot about the elections. Uh, I'm going to recognize Perky at the podium to give the teller's report. Uh, 
Ki He Him. Uh, the tellers would like to announce that the three elected members are Kevin Stanley, Joe Van Eckeren, and Ben Yellow. Uh, the tellers request permission to destroy the ballots. Uh, without objection, uh, we will uh, thank the tellers and ask and give them permission to uh, destroy the ballots. So what was the, what was the order, Kevin Stanley? Oh. Uh, can you give us the detailed tally? To the secretary. To the secretary. Sorry, not. Yes, I will do that. I'll find. Okay. Okay. The detailed tally will be given to the secretary. And uh, seeing no objections, uh, we thank the tellers for their work and uh, ask them to destroy the ballots. Now we will take a brief 10-minute uh, recess. It is currently 1049. So we're just going to round it to a, uh, an 11-minute recess, and we will reconvene here at 11 o'clock. Um, if, uh, if you are business meeting staff, can you please come to the front?